have an unboxing video for you and it's a little bit different to the usual unboxing videos that I do in that it's not related to beauty and it's not related to makeup, it is in fact related to food. Now I am a massive foodie and I love food, however when it comes to cooking I do lack inspiration and I tend to do the same favourite meals over and over again. So I was absolutely thrilled when I was contacted by a company called Kitchen Trotter. Kitchen Trotter is a recently launched service where they send you for £30 a month a box full of ingredients so that you can be inspired to cook something a little bit different. Every month there's a new theme which is a new country and it's not your usual generic been there done that Indian, Italian or anything like that. And so I was absolutely thrilled when they contacted me and of course I wanted to try out their box for you. I wanted to show you the sort of things that you can get in the box and then give you my honest review on what I think the service is like. As usual with all my unboxing videos, I will leave the link to Kitchen Trotter down below so you can go ahead and have a look for yourself um, and to see what you think of the service. And I'll also leave their link to any kind of social media that I'm able to link down below just so you can go and check it out for yourself. So this is the Kitchen Trotter box and this is how it arrived. It is absolutely stunning. I literally couldn't believe how big the box was. It's absolutely huge um, and it's really super duper heavy, <laughs> which means it's packed full of goodies. So the way it's designed is really beautiful. Um, this is the first box of this I've tried. I'm imagining the box is related to the theme inside, um, but it may not be. This might just be their generic packaging. I'm not 100% sure, but I do think the box is absolutely beautiful. And boxes always come in handy for storing things, so that's a nice box to have. Okay, so I've gone ahead and opened the box, which I'm not going to lift up and show you the inside because it's so heavy and I don't want everything to fall out of it. Basically, everything's nice and secure, um, and it's got all these little... I don't know what they're called, I call them Watts inside to keep everything nice and safe. The smell of this box is amazing and it's already making my mouth water, um, so that's definitely a good thing. So on top of the box is this leaflet. So inside here you have your Indonesian menu there and then you have a letter. Um, it's got a little bit about the country. Oh, I've just realised Indonesian, so that would be the theme of this box, Indonesian. Definitely nothing I've cooked has ever been Indonesian before, so it's already kind of inspiring me to think outside of the box and try something a little bit different. So this month's book is it box is Indonesian. So yeah, it tells you a little bit about Indonesia, tells you where they got the inspiration from, this lady here called Anita. Um, you've got your list of your things on the inside. But you also have a shopping list, so all your fresh produce that you're going to have to buy in order to make this. Obviously, they're not going to send you like your meat and your veg in the box because that's just not going to work. It's not going to stay fresh. It also tells you how long everything's going to take to prepare and cook. And then you've got your meals on the inside and your little recipe card telling you how to cook it all, so that's really cool. As I said, every month they do a different theme, and on the back of here you have um, next month's clue. So this is next month's clue. I'm not really sure where this could be, maybe Morocco. I'm punching way outside there, I don't even know, but if any of you are able to hazard a guess, then just leave it in the comments below. I'm thinking Morocco, and I'm probably wrong, so... Okay, so now I'm just going to delve into the box and start pulling things out. Actually, I better have the leaflet on me because I'm not going to know what any of this is. Okay, so the first thing I've pulled out is in this little package here. Um, it looks like a powder, like maybe a salt of some kind, but just a bit of a different colour. Um, you get 200 grams in there, so that is a lot of product. So this is the Gadoo Gadoo mix, and it is a peanut based mix that will give a lot of taste to your dressing. Okay, so having looked at the menu, I believe your starter is a salad. So this is obviously something that you mix um, in order to get the flavouring for the dressing on your salad, which is peanut. I like peanuts, so I'm very excited about this. There's no way you're going to be using the whole 200 grams um, for one salad. So it's a product you can use time and time and again and keep in your dry store, so that's fab. So the next thing I've pulled out is this little thing here, which is called Copo. Pandan. I have no idea what this is. I'm not going to have any idea what any of it is. This is the Pandan Aroma and it's from a plant. You only need a few drops and they make your dishes green and 
There's said to be the Asian version of vanilla pod. Okay, so I'm imagining this is for the dessert. Um, looking at the menu, the dessert is a coconut crepe, which is green. Let me see if I can show you the picture. This is the dessert here. So as you can see, they're green crepes. So I imagine this is what gives it the color and the flavor. Again, it's a nice size product. You're only gonna need a few drops for your crepes. So this is another one you'll be able to keep and use time and time again. Maybe bake a nice green vanilla cake or something just I just think it's really cool and I'm excited to try that. Okay, next we have this jar here and this is a shrimp paste and you get 227 grams of shrimp paste in there. Uh, I have no idea what to expect with this product, I'm gonna be honest. It's called Tarassi and it's a fermented prawn paste which you eat cooked. It's used in stir fries or sauces. Okay, so when we had a flick through the menu, we have this here, which is a stir fry. So I imagine this is used to flavor the stir fry. A lot of Asian cooking uses kind of fish flavored products. So you get like your oyster sauce in Chinese, for example. So there is no surprise there. I've never seen one come in a paste form. Um, however, I'm sure that it's full of flavor and incredibly delicious. So I am excited to try it. Okay, so the next thing is that this jar of leaves, they look very similar to bay leaves, but I'm imagining there's something totally different. So these are called kumbhava leaves and they've got a citrusy aroma similar to a lemon. I'm just going to open this one because this product's not going to go funny, haven't been opened. Wow, it does smell incredible. It smells incredibly citrusy and I haven't even crunched the leaves so I can't even expect what their flavour is going to be like. But it's making my mouth water so I'm sure it's going to taste delightful. The next thing is this metal tin here. This is called lemongrass powder. Obviously um, Asian cooking does use a lot of lemongrass. I'm not a stranger to that, I do know that. I haven't ever cooked with lemongrass myself. Um, so I'm going to open this one and smell it because I don't think that that's gonna go funny either. It smells really, really good. It's really kind of spicy. So the next thing is just in this little paper parcel here. Um, this is the Kamiri nuts. So apparently they look a lot like a hazelnut, but they taste completely different. <laughs> So Indonesians mainly use it grounded and it's recommended that you eat them cooked as they can be difficult to digest raw. So in here you get 60 grams worth of nuts. I'm going to pop the packet open and have a look at one of the nuts on the inside. Oh! It does look a lot like a hazelnut, um, only it's maybe three times the size of a hazelnut. And it smells nutty, but there's definitely like a particular, like distinctive smell in there. Uh, excited to try those, and I'm gonna try one of them raw because I have problems with my digestion as it is, so I don't wanna make it any worse. Ah, so you use that in this dish, which is called am ara. I don't know, it looks like a chicken and rice dish. Um, yeah, so you use the nuts in this dish. Okay, so the next thing in this box is this product here, which is called Bango, so it's like a thick li black liquidy product. So this is an Indonesian cuisine must have. It's a sweet and slightly thick soy sauce. Now I absolutely love soy sauce. I put it in all of my kind of stir fries or whatever cooking because it just adds a lot of flavor. It's kind of salty and just delicious. So this is a thick version of that, which is very exciting. And I know that I'm definitely gonna use it. So it's so common in Indonesia that it replaces salt and pepper in restaurants, which is absolutely fab. That means it must be incredibly good. So I'm excited to try that. And in there you get 275 millilitres. So the final little thing in here is that this little kitchen trotter um, hourglass timer. So this times for three minutes and they popped it in here so that measuring time is no longer a problem. So thank you Kitchen Trotter, that's a really handy thing to have and I'm definitely gonna use it. Okay guys, so that's everything I've got in my first ever Kitchen Trotter box. So I can honestly say that I'm absolutely thrilled with it. I'm really excited. Nothing in this box I have ever seen in a shop before. I don't think these are things that you'd easily be able to pop out to the supermarket and pick up. Obviously the product sizes are absolutely huge as well, which is great because it means that you won't only be able to use them once. If you like the recipe and you enjoy the food, you can cook it again maybe for your friends, or if not, you can use these kind of ingredients for many different versions of cooking. So, versions of cooking, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> 
your foodie is definitely worth the £30 a month just to be able to go outside of your comfort zone and try something a little bit different. So I'm going to leave that Kitchen Trot Up website below. Please do take a look if you're a foodie and you think it's something you might be interested in. I'll also leave a list of the ingredients below. I would have had trouble saying a lot of those so it's better to read how they're meant to be pronounced than go go by what I said. Guys, so that is the end of this video. I know it's a little bit different and I do hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!